If you believe in it, it can happen. A man who has dedicated his life to the power of young people. Driving young people to do better and smarter things that make their communities a better place to be. It really was a first step in what has turned out to be a career in public service. You have the right and you have an obligation to yourself to find something that you believe in. Oh man, the atmosphere was uh, was definitely very. I don't know how to even say it. I don't want to say like magical. It inspired me to um, make a positive difference. There was a person in the fray here who was vitally important. His name was Dr. Albert Schweitzer. He was the great humanitarian of the 20th century that Hugh O'Brien had the opportunity to spend nine days with in Lamborghini, West Africa. The time that they spent, Hugh and Dr. Schweitzer, at that apex, at that special moment when Dr. Schweitzer looked at Hugh and he said, you know, Hugh, the most important thing we can do is to help young people learn how to think for themselves. My sophomore year of high school, this junior approached me and told me about some conference that he wanted me to go to. My high school, I believe what they did was they chose a number of, of candidates and so we were nominated blindly and then from there we filled out essays and had interviews and were chosen from there. I didn't know anything at all. I wasn't aware of it whatsoever. I, ha I hadn't even been to any um, leadership conferences in the past so I didn't even know what to expect going into Hope. It turned out to be a great answer in terms of motivating young people. We now have a little over 385,000 that have been through the Hobie program. They're selected to represent their high school when they're in 10th grade. It was so much fun. It was an educational experience on top of being a fun experience. And it was just a learning atmosphere. I never absorbed so much in a, in a four day period. Really intimidated at first because there was all these like people screaming and yelling like in your face, like really happy. <gasps> Most of my friends that I've made through Hobie are now doing what they told me they'd be doing when we were sophomores. There are boys and girls, there are people of all ethnicities, but Hobie brought together people in a different kind of diversity, an intellectual diversity, a, a diversity of ideas. The main theme that runs with every Hobie individual is that we have a passion and a great desire and ambition to share what our trade is with others. Colby gave me the tools that I needed to expand and to be a leader and to really recognize like I can step up to the plate and I can take this position and I can show others how to make something better. The problems out there are big they're global and they're connected. And I thought that uh, it might be interesting if I could put a group of young people together and to try to give them a kick up in terms of identifying how important the individual is, what a wonderful difference they could make if they were on the right side of justice and had you know, good solid thinking in terms of uh, what our country stood for and what an individual can do if they're motivated. The number of teenagers volunteering in America has doubled over the last 20 years. And I like to give a lot of credit for that to Hobie. It's, it's just such a, such a positive, thrilling experience. A changing experience for me. It, it truly changed my life. Little did I know it was going to change my life. Probably the best experience of my life. Hobie changed my life the most amazing time of my life. There's a spark that happens during that three-day seminar, four-day seminar. Completely changed my life. Changed my life forever. It changes your life because you're molding your life. So the ripple effect is just unbelievable. It's a way of putting our arms around tomorrow, which is, again, what these young people represent. You know, for the last 50 years, you've made youth service one of the important parts of your program. 
and we're really grateful for that and we're grateful to the 300 and how many thousands of young people who've gone through the program and, and the change that they're making in America today. On behalf of 75,000 AmeriCorps members, 1.4 million students in our Learn and Serve America program, thank you for your leadership, thank you for all that you've done, and thank you most importantly for the leadership that you're going to provide for the next 50 years. I don't know what I'm to do.